Once again, I am just filming on the rainiest and most overcast day that I possibly could. Hi! So, a couple of months ago, maybe a few months ago, honestly, at this point, time is weird, I made a crocheted 18th century inspired stays slash corset top. And I absolutely love it. I wear it all the time. <laughs> and if you've watched a video of mine before, you might know that I really kind of love that fairy core aesthetic. I'm, I'm kind of wanting to make a couple of pieces or at least style a few outfits that kind of look fantasy inspired generally. So I thought that for this project, it would be the perfect opportunity to make another version of that top. It's not going to be the same since this is going to be more cottage core, fairy core, whatever you want to call it. Aesthetics are getting confusing. <laughs> I thought it would be fun to try a slightly different style. I'm going to use the same pattern, but I want to make it more akin to the early 19th century short stays, which had bust cups in them to start to give a little bit more shape to the upper body rather than just like one piece that went down the entire length. So I thought that'd be fun to try out with this one using that same pattern and kind of changing it. I have a ton of green yarn left over from my plant projects. It's not a green I particularly love. I thought I was only buying one skein of it. Turns out they sent me four skeins. So <laughs> I have a lot left over and I'm gonna try to make myself like this color. I do, I do try. Yeah, I think that's it. You'll see me again in the outro, but I hope you have a good time watching this process because it was kind of a roller coaster. Let me show you what I did. The first step was to mark on the pattern where the bust cups were going to go. Once again, if the perfect and not at all horrible way that I mark up my pattern pieces offend you, I'm sorry. After that, I could start crocheting. Just to let you know, my dog likes to sit right under my tripod. Do I know why? No. He's the cutest enigma in the world. Yes, he is. Is that a spider? No. Whew. So um, over the weekend, I showed my mom what I was currently working on. And the first thing she said with zero hesitation was Regency Kermit. I just want to let you know at this point because I've said several comments that my mom has made about the stuff I'm currently making. She is the most supportive person in my life. She's just also one of the funniest people I know and I can't say I disagree with her on this one. <laughs> so this one took some brain power but I'm going to try my best to explain what I did. I have notes. <clears throat> For the front piece, the two pieces are going to be mirroring, mirroring, mirroring each other. The center front seam, quote unquote, I tried to keep relatively straight and did drastic increases and decreases on the side that will attach to my side front piece. Those increases and decreases are pretty drastic. I did like three to four stitches of increase every other row to kind of start to shape that underbust. And then I decreased to my waist and at the end I added an extra tab because honestly I'm obsessed with these tabs. I want all the tabs I can possibly have on this piece. Then I worked on the side front. Does anyone still drink Dalgona coffee or is that not a thing anymore? Because honestly, the second it gets hot outside, I just crave it so much. Anyway, I did much the same thing as I did for the front piece, just less drastic. I only needed to increase by a few stitches to finish that under bust cup seam. I don't know. My brain's dying. It's the end of the day. Then my dog laid underneath my tripod again. I think he thinks I bought it for him at this point. <laughs> then I decreased in the middle so that both sides would decrease evenly. That's kind of what I figured out is that if you want it to curve on one side, you decrease or increase on that side. And if you want both sides to increase or decrease equally, you put the increases and decreases in the middle. Is that the right way to do it? 
Who's to say? Not me. Probably a lot of people know better than I do. And then I did two tabs that slanted because that's what the pattern piece looked like. And the back is relatively similar, just it's all decreases in the center because there's no real curve to it. And then the two tabs aren't slanted either. So it's, it's a pretty simple piece. Before I start making the back pieces, I want to go ahead and put these pieces together for two reasons. First off, I want to make sure that my cups are going to look right because I just did that very professional way of marking the cup out and uh, I just want to double check my work. It could also be easier for me to gauge what the cup should look like when it's partially together and then second of all I think a couple of these pieces that I made are a little bigger than the pattern pieces and so I just want to accommodate that on the back pieces before I start making them. So let me put the pieces together. So I made the back pieces with holes for the lacings and then made a facing for those holes and stitched the two layers together at each hole to make eyelets in order to make sure that the piece stayed strong while being laced. This lighting is terrible, but it's so overcast and rainy outside. This is the best you're gonna get today. Now that the back is almost done, I went ahead and moved on to the portion for my Tatas. So I thought what I could do is make two triangles, put those triangles together to make an almost semi-circle, not that this shows anything close to what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> kind of like this, if you can see that. Wow, this is not good. I've never made a triangle before and I had to use a magic ring, which if you've ever seen in another one of my videos, you know I hate those, but I did it this time. I did use a tutorial, but I only watched it for about 15 seconds because I I don't know why I had a very short attention span that day. So I just kind of figured it out, but I will definitely leave that creator's video below because it was very helpful. I'm gonna keep making these cups and then it's onto the straps. And then I'm gonna decide if I want to put any boning at the front and then I think we'll be done. Wow, okay. It's pretty late, but I wanted to do one more update for the night. All right, so I finished the back sections and the cups and yes, I am wearing the same pajamas pajamas as last night. Forgive me for thy sins. Yeah, I don't know if these are gonna fit correctly. They look a little large, but like only wide. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going and it'll all work out fine. I am going to try to lace it up and see if that fixes anything, but I'm not gonna show you what it looks like because I want it to be a surprise. I'm gonna go lace it up. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> Welcome back to me in this outfit. It's been several days since I finished the project and I, I, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a, a lot, a lot happened. First off, I don't love the color. I thought that once it was like a completed thing, I would change my mind. I haven't changed my mind. Second of all, the end of this project was so frustrating. I 
was really struggling with like the inner infrastructure and the the fitting of the cups and so I just stopped filming and I focused on just making it work so what you didn't get to see was that I put in bust cups from old bra inserts that I just wasn't using does anyone else just have those just laying around the house no just me okay and then I did add like two rows of boning to the front and then I kind of nipped in areas in the bust to try to make those fit a little better because woo, they were wide and still kind of flat I don't know <laughs> when I started this project I knew that I wanted to eventually embroider on this corset top I have heard that you can embroider on crochet I've just never done it before so what I think I'm going to do in a future video that is not now or like any of the next videos probably within the next few months I'll get to this I just kind of need a break but when I do I think I'm going to dye it a darker color to try to first of all just to get myself to like it better and second of all I think it might hide some of my mistakes and then second of all I will try to embroider on top of it as well hopefully those two things will make me like it better but right now I just need a break from it I need to like step back and ruminate oh I hate this project I don't I'm just not in love with it <laughs> that's always frustrating there was a point in this video where I did not think I was going to have a video but I do it turned into something it is something sorry to leave you on this kind of downer of a note but um you know what sometimes when you craft and make things it doesn't always work out and I think it's something that we should normalize that you're not gonna be perfect and some of the things you make you're not gonna like and that's okay because you're not a perfect human being these are reminders for myself because I'm I'm happy it's yeah <laughs> but anyway I hope you had a good time watching this video like and subscribe and I hope to see you back here next time bye